<laughs> Hello YouTubers, this is Bad Bad Rabbit here with another video. Crikey, I know I'm putting them out today. So this one is a slightly more complicated video. This is about keywords and how keywords affect you as a character in the world of Pathfinder Online. Now, in Pathfinder Online, you don't level, and there are no items that kind of match your level experience. So what you need to do is you need to match keywords to weapons and armors and abilities. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm first going to do is press P to get my paper doll up, or it's going to make a funny noise. Now, as you can see here, I've got my defensive feats, my um, fighter armor slotted effect, and uh, my fighter feature effect. Now, the fighter feature and fighter armor are both quite important. The fighter feature is kind of your class skill, so the one that you want to be using. So whether you're going to be melee, whether you're going to be an archer, whether you're going to be anything basically, a wizard. I don't know much about wizards and magic, and should investigate that. Anyway, so. What we need to look at is uh, the keywords effectively on our armor first. So we're going to look at the armor. Now, I've done this specifically so you can see the wrong kind of keywords. So we look at my fighter armor slotted effect. Now, I get bonuses to armor keywords. Now, you'll see here ranged attack bonus 10 just after that armor keywords. So, first of all, you should be wearing medium armor. It should have a military keyword and a flexible keyword. Now those are the keywords you need to match with the armor you're wearing. So remember medium, military and flexible. So let's look at this. This is my novitiate's ch uh, chainmail. Now this is actually for a priest. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you'll see here that yes I've matched the medium keyword because you'll see here tier 1 armor medium grants keywords based on upgrade medium, blessed, supple and flexible. So I've matched medium. Now, have I matched the others? So, blessed and supple. So, let's have a look. Blessed and supple. No. I need to be matching military and flexible. So, in order for me to get bonuses, which is based on this, so I get plus two ranged attack, bonus plus ten. Uh, yeah, so I need to be looking at this and looking, no, that's not right because supple and flexible are no good and blessed is definitely no good. So what I need to be matching is the fighter armor and a different type of armor. So we're going to go into the auction house because I don't actually have the right armor on me. I'm going to pop in here very quickly. Always takes a while for me. There we go. So I've shown you and basically we're on the soldier's chain mail here. So we needed military and we needed some others. Now if we remember what they are, we'll bring up the paper doll so you can see. So we need military, flexible and medium. So let's have a look at soldier's chain mail. It grants you medium, military and flexible and gives you supple as well. So we're matching three keywords here, which means that we get the most out of our armor. And that's how keywords work in armor. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at keywords to do with fighting and abilities. Now that's to do with the fact that you need to be looking at your equipped weapon and your abilities down here. So let's do that again. So back on the paper doll by pressing P. Hunter's longbow plus two. Now what this does is it grants keywords based on upgrade of piercing, precise, balanced and penetrating. Now we need to be using a weapon that works for our abilities. Now our abilities are obviously purchasable from the trainers, but you'll see here, Sorrow's Release for example, piercing, precise, balanced, masterwork, penetrating, slaying an artifact. Well, we're matching three keywords with our weapon here. And that's really what the key is. Match those keywords to those abilities and you will get better improvements in your damage. There you go, nice and easy. So. Just very quickly, in summary, match your keywords with your armor ability and your armor and your weapon and your weapon abilities. Now, I can't use these abilities if I equip a mace, for example. 
and I can't use these abilities if I equip a short bow. Short bows have their own abilities that you have to purchase from the trainer. Hopefully that explains it all for you quite quickly and in a nice easy fashion. If you have any comments or maybe I've got something wrong, please, please comment below. If you like what you're seeing, uh, comment, subscribe, thumbs up and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.